The southeastern United States Spanish, de Estados Unidos, French, Sud Est de Etats Unis is the eastern portion of the southern United States, and the southern portion of the eastern United States. It comprises 12 states in the southern United States. Demographics There is no official Census Bureau definition of the southeastern United States. However, the American Association of Geographers defines the southeastern United States as Alabama, Florida, Georgia, Kentucky, Mississippi, North Carolina, South Carolina, Tennessee, Maryland, Virginia, and West Virginia. The OSBO uses the same states, but includes Arkansas and Louisiana. Topic. Most populous states The most populous state in the region is Florida 20,612,439, followed by Georgia 10,310,371 and North Carolina 10,146,788. History Culture The predominant culture of the Southeast has its origins with the settlement of the region by British colonists and African slaves in the 17th century, as well as large groups of English, Scots and Ulster Scots, Germans, Spanish, French, and Acadians in succeeding centuries. Since the late 20th century the New South has emerged as the fastest growing area of the United States economically. Multiculturalism has become mainstream in the southeastern states. African Americans remain a dominant demographic at around a 30% of the total population of the southeast. The New South is built upon the metropolitan areas along the Interstate 85 corridor. Cities include Birmingham, Atlanta, Greenville, Spartanburg, Charlotte, Greensboro, Winston-Salem and Raleigh-Durham. Climate. Most of the southeastern part of the United States is dominated by the humid subtropical climate. As one nears the southern portions of Florida, the climate gradually becomes tropical as winters are freeze-free and all months have a mean temperature above 64.4 degrees Fahrenheit .0 degrees Celsius the defined coldest monthly mean temperature of tropical climates. Seasonally, summers are generally hot and humid throughout the entire region. The Bermuda High pumps hot and moist air mass from the tropical Atlantic Ocean and eastern Gulf of Mexico westward toward the southeast United States, creating the typical sultry tropical summers. Daytime highs are often in the upper 80s to lower 90s F rainfall as summer concentrated along the Gulf Coast and the South Atlantic coast from Norfolk, Virginia southward, reaching a sharp summer monsoon-like pattern over peninsular Florida, with dry winters and wet summers. Sunshine is abundant across the southeastern United States in summer, as the rainfall often comes in quick, but intense downpours. The Mid-South, especially Tennessee, and the northern halves of Mississippi, Alabama and Georgia, have maximum monthly rainfall amounts in winter and spring, owing to copious Gulf moisture and clashes between warm, moist air from the Gulf of Mexico and cold, dry air from Canada during the cold season. Here, December, March or April are typically the wettest months, August to October, the driest months for example, at Tupelo, Mississippi, Huntsville, Alabama and Memphis, TN. Winters are cool in the northern areas like Tennessee, Virginia, Maryland, and western North Carolina, with average highs in the 45 degrees Fahrenheit 7 degrees Celsius range in January. Farther south, winters become more mild across interior eastern North and South Carolina, Georgia, and Alabama, with average January highs in the 53 degrees Fahrenheit 12 degrees Celsius range. As one nears the Gulf of Mexico coastal plain and coastal areas of Georgia and South Carolina, winters become warm, with daytime highs near or over 60 degrees Fahrenheit 16 degrees Celsius, until far enough south in central Florida where daytime highs are above 70 degrees Fahrenheit 21 degrees Celsius. Winters tend to be very dry and sunny across Florida, with a gradual increase in winter rainfall with increasing latitude, especially west of the Appalachian Mountains. Topic economy The Southeast has changed dramatically in the last two generations. Since 1980, there has been a boom in its service economy, manufacturing base, high technology industries, and the financial sector. 
Examples of this include the surge in tourism in Florida and along the Gulf Coast, numerous new automobile production plants such as Mercedes-Benz in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, Hyundai in Montgomery, Alabama, Toyota Motors in Blue Springs, Mississippi, Kia in West Point, Georgia, the BMW production plant in Greer, South Carolina, Volkswagen in Chattanooga, Tennessee, the GM manufacturing plant in Spring Hill, Tennessee, the Volkswagen manufacturing plant in Pulaski, Virginia, and the Nissan North America American headquarters in Franklin, Tennessee, the two largest research parks in the country, Research Triangle Park in the Triangle area of North Carolina, the world's largest, and the Cummings Research Park in Huntsville, Alabama, the world's fourth largest, and the corporate headquarters of Verso Paper in Memphis, as well as FedEx, which is one of the world's largest shipping companies. Fortune 500 companies having headquarters in the region include 20 in Virginia, 16 in Florida, 15 in North Carolina, and 14 in Georgia. This economic expansion has enabled parts of the South to have of some of the lowest unemployment rates in the United States. In Alabama, there is a large-scale manufacturing project owned by the German steel megacorporation ThyssenKrupp, which operates a massive, state-of-the-art facility in Mobile. Topic research and development Research Triangle Park, in the Raleigh-Durham urban area of North Carolina, has emerged as a major hub of technology, governmental, and biotechnological research and development, as has the Virginia Biotechnology Research Park in Richmond. The Cummings Research Park in the Huntsville, Alabama area is the second largest research complex in the nation. Located in Huntsville is the Redstone Arsenal, United States Army Missile Command, the U.S. Space and Rocket Center, NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center and many other key government, military, and aerospace agencies. The National High Magnetic Field Laboratory in Tallahassee, Florida, is the largest laboratory in the world devoted to the study of magnetism. The University of South Carolina is currently constructing a research campus in downtown Columbia, and the university is the nation's only National Science Foundation funded industry, university cooperative research center for fuel cells. Topic education Topic Higher education The region includes a number of notable universities, public and private, whose research exert influence globally. Chief among these are, Auburn University Clemson University College of William & Mary Florida State University Georgia Institute of Technology Georgia State University North Carolina State University Radford University University of Alabama University of Kentucky University of Florida University of Tennessee University of Georgia University of Maryland University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill University of South Carolina University of Virginia Virginia Polytechnic Institute and State University There are a number number of well-known private institutions, as well. Notable among these are, Belmont University Davidson College Duke University Emory University Georgetown University Johns Hopkins University Morehouse College Spelman College Tulane University University of Miami University of Richmond Vanderbilt University Wake Forest University Washington and Lee University The region is home to the greatest number of historically black colleges and universities in the nation. The three largest in the region are North Carolina A&T University, Florida A&M University, and Jackson State University. Topic largest cities These are the largest cities in the southeastern region of the United States by population, according to the United States Census Bureau. Carida, Jacksonville, Louisville, Nashville and New Orleans are consolidated city counties, parishes. Therefore the population given is for the entire city excluding other incorporated places lying within the county limits. Topic metropolitan statistical areas These are the metropolitan areas of the southeastern region which exceed 1 million in population according to the United States Census Bureau's 2016 estimates. Topic combined statistical areas Beyond Megalopolis by Virginia Tech's Metropolitan Institute, an attempt to update Gene Gottman's work with current trends, defines two megapolitan areas contained within the southeast, out of a total of ten such areas in the United States, Piedmont extending from North Carolina to Alabama Peninsula covering South Florida and Central Florida. Wo others tie some areas on the margins of the southeast to urban centers in other regions. Gulf Coast extending as far east as the western tip of Florida, northeast, including much of Maryland and eastern Virginia. These are the combined statistical areas of the southeastern region which exceed 1 million in population according to the United States Census Bureau's 2016 estimates. Note that the metropolitan areas of Tampa and Richmond are not included in any CSAs, so they are included in the table without constituent areas. Topic sports Although American football is prevalent across the United States, it is especially pervasive in the Southeast. 
With a total of nine, nine franchises, the Atlanta Falcons, the Baltimore Ravens, the Carolina Panthers, the Jacksonville Jaguars, the Miami Dolphins, the New Orleans Saints, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the Tennessee Titans, and the Washington Redskins, across the region, the National Football League NFL maintains a stronger commercial presence than any other major North American professional sports league. The Southeast has seven, seven National Basketball Association NBA franchises, the Atlanta Hawks, the Charlotte Hornets, the Memphis Grizzlies, the Miami Heat, the New Orleans Pelicans, the Orlando Magic, and the Washington Wizards. Major League Baseball MLB maintains five, five teams in the Southeast, the Atlanta Braves, the Baltimore Orioles, the Miami Marlins, the Tampa Bay Rays, and the Washington Nationals. The Southeast has five, five National Hockey League NHL franchises, the Carolina Hurricanes, the Florida Panthers, the Nashville Predators, the Tampa Bay Lightning, and the Washington Capitals. Major League Soccer currently holds three, three clubs, Atlanta United FC, DC United, and Orlando City SC, in the region. This number will increase to five, five when Nashville's new club and David Beckham's new club in Miami begin play in March 2020. The Atlantic Coast Conference is an NCAA Division I conference of mainly southeastern college teams, including the Florida State Seminoles, Louisville Cardinals, Miami Hurricanes, Clemson Tigers and Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets, Wake Forest Demon Deacons, Duke Blue Devils, North Carolina Tar Heels, NC State Wolfpack, Virginia Tech Hokies, and Virginia Cavaliers. The Sugar Bowl, Orange Bowl, Peach Bowl, and Citrus Bowl are notable college football bowls held in southeastern cities. The Southeastern Conference is also an NCAA Division I conference of Southeastern college teams, including the Alabama Crimson Tide, Auburn Tigers, Kentucky Wildcats, Ole Miss Rebels, Florida Gators, South Carolina Gamecocks, Tennessee Volunteers and Georgia Bulldogs, Mississippi State Bulldogs, and Vanderbilt Commodores. The majority of NASCAR teams are headquartered in the Charlotte area along with the sports operations headquarters and media outlets. Tracks in the region include Daytona International Speedway, Homestead Miami Speedway, Talladega Super Speedway, Bristol Motor Speedway, Charlotte Motor Speedway, Atlanta Motor Speedway, Darlington Raceway, Kentucky Speedway, Martinsville Speedway, and Richmond International Speedway. The Southeast also hosts two of the three legs of the American Triple Crown. The Kentucky Derby, in Kentucky. The Preakness Stakes are also located in the southeast, being run in Baltimore. The Derby is considered the western leg of the crown and the Preakness is traditionally considered the southern leg. Topic see also Southeastern Mixed Forests, Southeastern Habitat Hammock Ecology, Southeastern Habitat East Coast of the United States, the Southern Eastern Seaboard Portion Topic References Topic External links Flora Atlas of the Southeastern United States, by the North Carolina Botanical Garden and University of North Carolina Herbarium NCU. Sea level changes in the Southeastern United States Past, Present, and Future, University of South Florida August 2011, Britannica Southeast U.S. Video on YouTube